semen analysis. Semen is a concentrated suspension of spermatozoa produced in the testes, stored in the paired epididymis, mixed with secretions from the accessory sex organs, mainly prostate and seminal vesicles, with minor contribution from the bulbourethral glands. Semen analysis is the physical, chemical and microscopic examination of semen. It is done to ascertain the total count and functional attributes of semen sample. The total number of spermatozoa reflects sperm production by the testes and the patency of the post-testicular duct system. Total fluid volume contributed by the various accessory glands reflects the secretory activity of the glands which is important for proper sperm function. The functional capacity of the spermatozoa is assessed by their vitality, motility and morphology. Sample collection. Complete ejaculate should be collected in a sterile, dry, wide mouth plastic container. Important points to be noted for sample collection. A period of abstinence between 3 and 5 days is mandatory. Longer periods of abstinence usually result in higher semen volume but lower motility. Bladder should be evacuated prior to ejaculation. A post-ejaculation urine sample must also be collected if retrograde ejaculation is suspected. The most satisfactory sample is when the collection is done in the lab to enable assessment of liquefaction time. If the sample is collected at home, it should be delivered to the lab within one hour. Sample should not be collected in condoms as the powder or the lubricant applied in the condom can be spermicidal. Home sterilized containers should not be used as detergents can also be spermicidal. Water is spermicidal, so the container must be dry. The lid of the container should not have a rubber lining as contact with the rubber can result in sperm death. Sample rejection. Unlabeled samples. Incomplete ejaculate. Samples received after one hour of ejaculation or inadequately transported samples should be rejected. Sample storage. The semen sample should be examined as early as possible. If delay is likely, store at 20 degree centigrade to 30 degree centigrade which is room temperature. Excessive heat, cold or direct sunlight should be avoided. Do not store the sample in a refrigerator. Equipment and reagents required for semen analysis. Glass slides, cover glass, new bars counting chamber with cover glass, micro pipettes with micro tips, pastures pipette, pH paper, Leishman stain, eosin stain, semen diluting fluid which contains sodium bicarbonate, formalin, neutral and distal water. Microscope. Reagent storage and stability. Reagents are to be stored at room temperature. The reagents are stable till expiry date mentioned on the label. Physical examination of semen. The physical examination includes Color, volume, liquefaction time, viscosity. Color. Record the color of the specimen. Normal color is grayish white. A yellowish color may indicate pyospermia, and reddish or rust color may indicate bleeding in the seminal vesicle. Volume. Volume of the semen sample is measured using a pasture's pipette to transfer the entire amount into a graduated tube. The readings are taken from the markings. Low semen volume may be suggestive of incomplete collection or obstruction of ejaculatory duct or partial retrograde ejaculation. High volumes may be associated with active exudation due to inflammation of the accessory organs or prolonged abstinence. Liquefaction time. Freshly ejaculated semen is highly viscid, opaque, white or grey. 
After about 20 minutes at room temperature, the coagulum will spontaneously liquefy to form a translucent fluid. That is, it becomes thinner. The time taken for this is called liquefaction time. Sometimes it may take longer and the sample can be placed in an incubator at 37 degrees centigrade for 10 to 15 minutes before examining again. Failure to liquefy or delayed liquefaction may indicate inadequate prostatic secretion. Presence of an unliquefied coagulum while mixing is indicated of delayed liquefaction. Viscosity the semen should be thoroughly mixed before viscosity is measured. It is assessed by dropping semen from a plastic disposable pipette. If it falls drop by drop, the viscosity is normal. Abnormal viscosity is when drops form threads more than 2 cm long. High viscosity may be associated with poor penetration of cervical mucus. Low viscosity may be associated with low counts. Chemical examination includes pH, fructose test and occult blood. pH The pH is checked using pH paper in the range of 6 to 10. Mix the semen sample well after it has liquefied. Take a drop of the sample and place it on the pH paper. Let it spread and wait for the color to become uniform. Now compare the color with the calibration strip to read the pH. The pH of semen reflects the balance between the pH value of different accessory gland secretion, mainly the alkaline seminal vesicular secretion and the acidic prostatic secretion. High pH values are seen in acute infections of prostate, seminal vesicle or epididymis. Low pH may be due to contamination with urine, obstruction of ejaculatory duct or when the specimen consists mainly of prostatic fluid. Fructose using Selvinov's test Procedure Take 1 ml of semen in a test tube Add 2 ml of Selvinov's reagent to it. The solution is then heated in boiling water bath for 2 minutes. A positive test is indicated by formation of red product. Note, for preparation of Selvinov's reagent, dissolve 50 mg of resorcinol in 33 ml of concentrated hydrochloric acid and make up the volume to 100 ml with distilled water. Fructose in semen reflects the secretory function of the seminal vesicle. Occult blood can be done using the urine stick or the stool occult blood cards. Presence of blood may be detected in traumatic and infectious conditions. Microscopic examination of semen. The microscopic examination includes the total sperm count, motility, morphology, vitality and others like presence of agglutination, immature forms, pus cells and miscellaneous factors. Wet mount cover slip preparation. Take a pre-warmed glass slide, place a drop of well mixed semen sample, place a cover slip and immediately examine under low power and high power objectives. For motility, count at least 200 spermatozoa. Wait for the sample to stop drifting and then under high power, look for spermatozoa in a systematic scan 5 mm from the edge to avoid counting in the same field. Counting can be done using an eyepiece reticle or disc to reduce the field size for easier counting. Motility is graded as progressive motility. Count the spermatozoa moving actively either linearly or in a large circle regardless of speed. Non-progressive motility. Count spermatozoa showing motility but with absence of progression. For example, moving slowly in small circles or only a flagellar beat seen. Immotility. 
spermatozoa showing no movement whatsoever. Total motility is the sum of progressive motility and non-progressive motility and it should be more than 40%. The normal reference level for progressive motility is more than 32%. Also look for sperm agglutination or clumping, presence of pus cells, RBCs, immature spermatozoa, bacteria, trichomonas, etc. Agglutination Agglutination indicates immunologic infertility. Agglutination is said to be present when motile sperm stick to each other with an orientation such as head-to-head, tail-to-tail, mid-piece-to-mid-piece or in mixed ways depending on the specificity of sperm antibodies. It has to be distinguished from clumping due to bacterial infection or debris which shows non-specific orientation of sperms. Immature germ cells are round cells with relatively large amount of cytoplasm and highly condensed nucleus. A few immature cells are normally present which is 4 to 6 per high power field. Pus cells 3 to 4 per high power field leukocytes are normally present in semen. A higher number denotes infection or pyospermia. Red blood cells are normally absent in semen. Their presence indicates infection, inflammation or trauma of the reproductive tract. Bacteria, yeast or trichomonas can be present denoting specific pathologies if contamination is ruled out. Total sperm count using Newbar's counting chamber. Take 380 microliters of semen diluting fluid in a test tube. Add 20 microliters of well-mixed liquefied semen sample to it. Prepare the new bars counting chamber. Clean the surface carefully with lens paper. The cover slip should also be cleaned. The cover slip is placed over the counting surface prior to putting the cell suspension. Using a pipette, Charge the counting chamber by allowing a small drop of fluid to form at the tip of the pipette and gently bringing it into contact with the edge of the cover slip, which is already placed on the chamber. Allow the new bar chamber to stand covered for 5 minutes. Count all the sperms in the 4 WBC squares and calculate. Sperms counted in 4 squares into 50,000 gives the count in millions per ml of ejaculate. Therefore, the total sperm count is equal to the sperm count in millions per ml into the total volume of ejaculate in milliliters. Oligospermia and azoospermia can result from many endocrine and obstructive causes and it needs to be interpreted along with the basal testosterone, luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone levels. Stained slides for morphology Leishman stained smears are used to study sperm morphology. Take a clean glass slide, place 5 to 10 microliters of well mixed semen sample now taking another slide at an angle of 45 degree, pull the drop of semen preparing a smear. Allow it to air dry and stain using Leishman stain. Examine the smear under low power, high power and oil immersion objectives to assess the morphology and note the findings in a format specifying defect in head, mid piece or tail region. A normal spermatozoa consists of a head, mid-piece and a tail. For spermatozoa to be considered normal, all parts must be normal. All borderline forms should be considered abnormal. The head is smooth, regularly contoured and generally oval in shape. The mid-piece should be slender, regular and about the same length as the sperm head. 
The major axis of the mid piece should be aligned with the major axis of the sperm head. The tail should be single, thinner than the mid piece and approximately 10 times the head in length. The stain slide should be retained for one week. Sperm morphology can predict fertility. The lower reference limit for normal forms is 4% as per the WHO 2010 document. Many sperms can have multiple defects. The average number of defects per sperm is called the teratozoospermic index, which is a significant predictor of sperm function. Here you can see a schematic drawing of some abnormal forms of spermatozoa. Some actual stained images of abnormal shapes of the head of spermatozoa can be seen. Some images of mid-piece abnormalities like thick, bent, too long or irregular etc. Some images of tail abnormalities like double tail, looped, coiled, bent etc. Eosin or Eosin nigrosin mount Sperm vitality is estimated by assessing the membrane integrity of the cells. It is especially important for samples with less than 40% progressively motile spermatozoa. Preparation of eosin yellow 1 ml of eosin yellow should be mixed with 9 ml of normal saline. Put a drop of this solution onto a drop of semen on a slide and examine the wet mount. Count the number of stained or dead spermatozoa against the unstained or live spermatozoa. The dye exclusion method is based on the principle that damaged plasma membrane of dead spermatozoa allow entry of membrane impermeant stains, coloring them. The live spermatozoa do not take up the stain. The normal range for vitality or membrane intact spermatozoa should be more than 58%. Vitality test using the hypoosmotic swelling test is an alternative which presumes that only live cells with intact membranes will swell in hypotonic solution. Sperm vitality should be assessed as soon as possible after liquefaction of the semen sample preferably at 30 minutes and latest within one hour of ejaculation to prevent deleterious effects of dehydration or changes due to temperature. The biological test intervals for semen are as follows. Volume should be more than 2 ml. Color is grey opalescent. Liquefaction time should be completed in 60 minutes at room temperature, viscosity, discrete droplets of less than 2 cm thread. Chemical examination, pH should be more than or equal to 7.2, fructose is present, occult blood absent. Microscopic examination, the sperm count in millions per ml is more than 15 million per ml and sperm count per ejaculate is more than 39 million. Sperm motility. Progressive motility should be more than 32%. Total motility should be more than 40%. The sperm morphology. Normal sperms are more than 4%. Sperm vitality, more than 58%. Sperm agglutination is absent. Spermatogenic cells are occasional. Leukocytes and epithelial cells are also occasional. RBCs are nil. Candida, nil. Trichomonas, nil. Granular debris, plus or minus. Crystal, nil. And bacteria, nil. All semen samples should be handled cautiously wearing gloves and masks as they are potential biohazard. The sample should be discarded following the biological waste management guidelines after completion of the test. Quality control includes internal quality control which uses proficiency testing 
that is split sample testing which should be done regularly by two technicians on the same sample. External quality control should be carried out quarterly by inter-lab comparisons.